Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor. Today I'm going to talk about how to visit an inmate at the 4th Avenue Jail. Now, the 4th Avenue Jail is located at 201 South 4th Avenue. The way you get there is you come on down to Van Buren, and then you head to Van Buren to 4th Avenue. Once you get there, go south. You're going to go down to Madison Street, and at the southeast corner of Madison and 4th Avenue is the 4th Avenue Jail. Now park somewhere on the street or find a nearby parking garage. Parking is plentiful. The entrance to visitation is on the west side of the building. It's not on the uh, northwest corner. That's for posting bonds. And it's not, not on the north side of the building. That's for the initial appearances. It is on the west side of the building. That is where your visitation entrance is. Now, no visitors under 18, period, at the 4th Avenue Jail. You have to be 18 years of age or older. When you meet with the inmate, it's going to be on video screen. Um, that's a problem. There's a video screen and you pick up a phone. Now, when you're talking to the inmate, everything's recorded. So they will use it against the inmate if you talk about the case. So just keep their spirits up. Maybe talk about the next court date, but don't go into the specifics of the case. If you have questions, call the Sheriff's Information Management System, or SIMS. Phone line is 602 8760322 or you can call the 4th Avenue jail directly at 602-876-1239 if you have questions regarding visitation restrictions or lockdowns. Now as far as general visitation information goes, um, at the 4th Avenue jail uh, visitation is Sunday through Monday or seven days a week from 8 in the morning till 8 at night. Last sign up is at 715. Each inmate gets one 30 minute visitation per week and they can only have two visitors at a time. If you have a baby with you that's under a year old, that doesn't count as a visitor. If your baby is a year of age or older, it does count as a visitor. Make sure you show up with a valid ID. No Sam's Club IDs, uh, no swap meet IDs. You have to have a, a driver's license, a DMV ID card, a passport, some government issued ID. You can have no felony convictions. If you do, they won't let you visit. Uh, you cannot have done jail time in the Maricopa County system in the last 12 months. So if you've done even one day, it'll flag and they won't let you in. Also, no illegal aliens. In regards to being um, uh, under 18, again, at the 4th Avenue Jail, no visitors under 18. As to dress code, dress conservatively. Call the jail if you have questions. You don't want to be rejected because you have a low-cut blouse and really short shorts. Just dress conservatively. Once you get there, fill out the white form first. Include the inmate's full name, date of birth, and booking number. Also have your ID, go up to the window, slide it under the window, and they'll call your name when you're ready for the visit. Now, if your loved one is in the 4th Avenue Jail and they haven't been convicted of anything and they haven't pled, they're, uh, they're fighting their case, that's the pretrial phase. Give us a call at 602-307-0808 uh, or go to our website, dmcantor.com, and fill out a contact form. We will set you for a free 30-minute consultation in our office free. It doesn't cost you anything, but it takes about 30 minutes and we'll go over the case from top to bottom to see what we can do to help your loved one. If they've already pled but they're awaiting sentencing, same thing. Call us. Perhaps we can get a lower sentence on the sentencing range. Or if they've already been sentenced, convicted and sentenced, call us regarding appeals, post-conviction relief petitions, or sentence modifications. Perhaps we can get the sentence reduced or the whole case thrown out. Um, if this applies to you, have a good visit, then give us a call. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care.